So, if you talk about classification of amino acid, what is that? First of all, we can classify that amino acids into essential and non essential amino acid essential and non essential amino acid you know what is that those amino acids which cannot be synthesized by our body tissues by any method they are called essential amino acids it must be supplemented from external food source but those amino acids which is synthesized in our body our body by our body tissues they are called non essential amino acids for example there is a very small word to remember all that essential and non essential amino acids like uh, this term called av hill av hill MPTT. Just remember that word. AV Hill, you know, a name of scientist also. AV Hill MPTT. Basically, this contains uh, 10 alphabets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, in which there are 8 fully essential, and they are, there are two amino acids that they are called uh, semi essential amino acids. What is that? First of all, let's remember all these names. What are that? For example, this A is called, the A is called arginine, A is arginine, V is valine, H is called histidine, I is called isoleucin, L is called leucine, then L is called lysine, M is called methionine, P is called phenyl alanine, T is called tryptophan, tryptophan and this T is called threonine. So whatever the name that is not included in that part, that must be a kind of non-essential amino acid in which a and H, there is arginine and histidine, it is called semi essential amino acids. It is said that these two amino acids are not, uh, these two amino acids cannot be synthesized by uh, infantile in, in the infantile stage or in the early stages it is it is formed by adult body tissues but it is not synthesized by infantile body tissues so in the infants they must need uh, these two amino acids by the external source but in the adult we synthesizes this both the, these amino acids so they are called semi essential because these are essential only in infants not in adults Remaining art, remaining eight uh, uh, amino acids, including except that A and H, they are called fully essential amino acid that is not synthesized by our body tissues. Now, in these names like tyrosine, glycine, it is not included in that part. Serine is not in that part. It must. It means they are all a kind of 
non essential amino acids it means in the total 20 we can say 8 and 12 we can say 8 is fully essential amino acid and 12 is non essential amino acid if you talk about why, why this 12 basically it includes 8 plus 2 plus 10 but at least these two is not synthesized by infantile tissues so we can say if it considered in non-essential part it means the number is 8 and 12 8 is fully essential 2 is semi essential and 10 is non essential but in your examination part they simply ask essential and non essential and the answer is 8 and 12 only essential is 8 and remaining are non essential now uh, this is the first classification of amino acid what is essential and what is non essential now on the basis of their chemical nature amino acids can be further classified as acidic basic and neutral amino acid so, uh, so we will now classify the amino acids on the basis of its chemical nature look at here On the basis of chemical nature, amino acids can be further classified as neutral. acidic and basic amino acids what is that it is neutral acidic and basic amino acid what is that just for example i told you earlier the structure of amino acid that is c c o h uh, n s2 H and this is called R. If you if, if we ionize that uh, amino acids, it becomes like this C C O minus N S three plus this H and this is R. If uh, if an amino acid contain one plus charge one minus charge, it will nullify that there is no plus or minus charge in the side chain this plus charge is balanced by this negative charge so whatever the, the different kind of amino acids which contains plus or minus charge only at the opposite end one on ammonia and one on carboxylic acid there is no plus or minus charge on the side chain this must be a kind of neutral amino acids it's easy to remember first acidic basic and the remaining will becomes neutral amino acid for example if we talk about a compound like this c co minus n s3 plus h and if this uh, side chain contains some additional negative charge in the r group if this is additional negative charge in the r group it must be an example of acidic amino acid and we know the example of that there are only two examples one is called aspartic acid and one is called glutamic acid
Aspartic acid and glutamic acid are the example of acidic amino acid. In the same way, if there is a compound like this, CCO minus NS3 plus H and there is some additional NS3 plus group plus charge in the side chain. It must be a kind of basic amino acid and we can remember that name BAHAL. This BA is BA, BA is basic. This H is histidine, histidine. This A is arginine and this L is lysine amino acid. So two are acidic, these three are basic. It means the remaining amino acids must be a kind of neutral amino acids. So uh, these are the different classification of amino acids on the basis of its chemical nature, what is acidic, what is basic and what is neutral amino acid. Now uh, if we talk about the chemical property of amino acids, chemical property of amino acids, chemical property of amino acid. So if you talk about uh, what is the chemical property of amino acids, in book it is written that it is a kind of amphoteric molecule, it is a kind of amphoteric molecule. What do you mean by amphoteric molecule? The amphoteric molecule is basically a kind of molecule which contains uh, plus charge, minus charge simultaneously on the same molecule and it can react with both acid and base. I told you earlier, uh, amino acids contains like molecule like this CCO minus NS3 plus, this is H and this is R. Presence of both positive charge and negative charge on the same molecule and hence amino acids it can react with both both acid and base. It has both acidic and basic nature in fact and in that way they are called amphoteric molecules. It has both acidic and basic behavior because of presence of both plus and minus charge and there is term called deuterine. There is also mentioned in your NCRT book what is deuterine. Deuterine is simply a molecule which contains both positive and negative charge in the same molecule at the same time. Presence of both positive and negative charge in the same molecule at the same time. This kind of molecule is called, this is called deuterine. So there are two different chemical property of uh, amino acids. First of all, it is a kind of amphoteric molecule. It is also called deuterine. Amphoteric why? Because it has both acidic and basic nature or it can react with both acid and base. And what is deuterine? Deuterine is the presence of both positive and negative charge on the same molecule. So uh, that is the chemical property of amino acids. Now uh, in the next section of that a uh, protein molecule, a uh, protein macromolecule, we will see how uh, amino acids helps in the formation of different kinds of peptide molecules and what is the structure of proteins, what are the functions of, uh, functions of proteins and how we can classify the different kinds of proteins.